Second full day, second stadium tour. <laughs> Beautiful Olympic Park, modern Olympic Park in London. I'm gonna do a stadium right over there. The London Stadium, home of West Ham United. Heavenly crack. The top three when we was open in 2012 for the Olympics and when West Ham moved into it. I really think it looks really cool. Much better than Stamford Bridge, for instance. Let's check it out. You can feel the park living. That's so cool. Also, that structure over there, it's impressive. What is it though? This is pretty cool and informative. All the accolades of West Ham United. Obviously knew about Conference League last year. Otherwise, three FA Cups and the European Cup Winners Cup, which would be the Europa League today. So we're in a club cafe in a fan shop. And you can see they implemented old turnstiles from their old stadium into the table. First look inside. This is cool. And you can see that tower thing over there. <laughs> I really love those triangular floodlights <clears throat> when the stadium was open in 2012 for the Olympics. I just love them. You know, the, the roof was different, you know, it was only up to here. It was expanded for West Ham, but it was the same floodlight, as far as I can remember. Also, very memorable scene from uh, the opening of the Olympic Games in 2012, uh, the performance of Rowan Atkinson, just legendary. If you don't know it, look it up. It's just oh, it's probably why I, I have a special place for this stadium in my, in my brain, in my heart. You know, just, just fun memories. It's first time being here, obviously. Uh, I really would love to come here for a match. See the bubbles. Yep. The only team in London. I really want to come here for a match and sit right over there. Holy cow. <laughs> Chicago! <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Baseball changing room. For one weekend per year. Apparently, you remain from Man United. 
because obviously it was a final match of the former <laughs> Man United manager, Eric Ten Hag. As the sun came out, we ended our stadium tour. It was delightful. So much better than yesterday, in my opinion. Uh, Guy Simon was absolutely amazing. He was so passionate about West Ham, telling us about how West Ham won the World Cup in 1966. How the other players did not do anything on the pitch. <laughs> Only the West Ham players, or well, the captain, and the four goals were scored by West Ham players. So, yeah, <laughs> very passionate. Yeah, very very cool guy. Um, yeah, this tour cost 22 pounds and it lasts about 75 minutes ish. Well, like I said, it was much better, much much better quality. Uh, highly recommend it. Get a, I think I'll get a full 13 out of 13 points for this one. But if you ever in London, do not miss out on London Stadium tour. Yeah, very cool. Things to see in the stadium, uh, even uh, the new <laughs> changing, room, changing rooms for uh, the baseball teams when they come and play here once a year for 40 people each. <laughs> crazy, <laughs> just crazy that they did not. Of course, the football changing rooms are much smaller than they need to, so they do need bigger changing rooms, but there's so much luxury for just one weekend per year, anyways. Uh, yeah, make sure you visit, you visit the Olympic Stadium and uh, so we got Tottenham left for this weekend. See you in the next one. Alright, Big Ben! Hands down, the biggest band I've ever seen. <laughs>